So here we're going to show something that a lot of people don't know they can do with their newer F-Series 4s. I think you have to have the larger screen to actually do this. Uh, I know some of the brand new like uh, F-150s, things like that, they don't have this screen. You have to have that screen for this to work. Um, obviously, going to hold down this button and that button for five seconds. So, just go. And you know it takes it whenever it starts running through all the uh, speaker diagnostic test stuff. Now, the thing about this is, is I think a lot of people do this or they watch a video like this and they automatically believe that, hey, I can do this and it'll save the setting. Now, this is just a test setting. I've learned that you can change your theme to, let's just make it a Shelby R. Why not? Oh, I don't know what I just hit. And now you see when I turn my truck off, it will. I gotta open my door. Forgot about that part. Shelby GT350, Ford Performance. But here's the thing that a lot of people leave out of these is start it back up just like normal, you know. Still says built Ford tough up here. I kind of was hoping there'd be something different up there, but there's not. Starts up the exact same as it would with my truck. Obviously, super duty, not a Mustang, you know. Actually, that's a different screen. I had mine set to nighttime. But yeah. I mean, I can only imagine there's a way somehow to come through here, you know, and do your testing and stuff. And it probably allows you to change. I actually need to do my door keypad, keypad sometime. But uh, I can only imagine there's some way you could probably click through here and do the exact same thing. But I know that is one of the main things that people keep on saying that happens. But here's the thing. You shut it off the second time. Your door. You're back to your normal one. So... Um, however, it's kind of neat to do once. After that, it's kind of like, all right, that was cool. Don't really care for that again. Um, if it kept it, I think it'd be cool for a little bit, but that'd be about it. Um, I'm actually going to try to learn more things about this truck because this is the newest vehicle I've ever had. Um, 1950 is a little different than 2017. Obviously, the Camaro is newer than that, but... This is still the newest vehicle I've ever owned, and I've never had a vehicle like this where there's just little things you can do. So uh, we're kind of going to try to do some more hacks on this thing and just kind of see what there is to learn about it. So uh, that's going to be it for today, at least. Um, going to try to, well, see what else there is, like I've said probably two or three times. So that is all.